Hey guys, um, I'm back here with a requested video from Tara Cash. She commented on my video creations of Crazy Couture and she wanted a video of the shirt um, that's at 1 minute and 30 seconds. So this is the shirt that I'm going to um, do the requested look on. Um, this is just a, a stretchy shirt that I got from um, there's a warehouse one, an old, an old shirt that I just had at my, in my, uh, in my dresser. Um, so what we're going to do is just cut off this, the bottom piece and the side pieces here and cut off the neckline. And as you can see, I've cut off the bottom strip here, the sides and this part. Next we're going to fold it in half so these sides here are touching. And then just match it up as best as you can. Here is the sleeve. Um, here are the two seams right here. Put that together. And those two together. So this is the front of the shirt, and here's the back, here's the back collar, and then here's the dip here. Um, we're going to cut slits right here. Um, they're going to be different lengths. So first one is going to be a small one. Next one is a little bigger. And then we keep getting bigger. Not too much though. So there's a little more. Oops. And then this one will be the, your longest one. So, about there. So, if you can see, it goes short to. And then we will keep doing that, going small, bigger, bigger. And then this will be the biggest and do that all over again all the way down okay and you should have something like this um, where you have some long pieces and then some shorter ones um, I'll flip it around for you so then the slits are in the front okay so this is what it will look like um, you could even just leave it like this um, just with the slits in the front um, that would make a cute look too so as you can see there's smaller ones and then we got the biggest one here all the way down in the same sort of row um, now we will do some weaving on the front and we will also be adding some slits to the side right here um, and it will go down just like that um, and like that as well I'm gonna fold the shirt um, in half again like we did um, when we did these ones uh, when we did these uh, these cuts and then um, it'll make it easier to um, cut these here both at the same time um, yeah Okay, so just uh, once again, make sure that your seams are um, lined up with your armpit and at the front here. Um, we're working with the front part. We won't be doing anything to the back, so it's just all on the front. Um, to make it easier on myself, I just folded the whole shirt in half. Um, but like I said, you'll only be cutting the first or the um, the uh, front and not the back. Um, you can cut off the rest of these sleeves if you want to. Um, I'm just going to leave them on um, because that's how it was in the photo um, on the uh, on the video she requested. Um, but it, it, it will turn out fine if you just want to take off the sleeves. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is um, about one inch slits just right there. 
and then they will all be the same size until right about right about here will probably be the longest one and then they will taper in um, okay so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna fold the front part over like this so it makes it easier for me to cut um, Just like that. Well, you can do it any way that's easiest for you. Um, so I'm just going to make the slits here and then once I get to the part where um, I got to start to turn there and follow the, the armhole. Okay, so here we are with the slits finished. Um, I did the same thing as I did right here. Um, I started small and then I got, um, these ones are all the same, same width and same length of the cuts. Um, and then this one here is the longest one. And then we got smaller, smaller, and then here will be the ending. So I did the same thing to the other side and I stretched them out so they're already stretched out. And um, now we will do the weaving. Okay, so here we are. Um, I put the shirt on a stuffed animal because like I said before, I don't have a mannequin anymore. Um, if you have a friend, you can have your friend help you and wear the shirt so you can do the twists. Um, but I've just got my uh, stuffed animal here. Um, okay, so for this part, we're going to do an easy twist where we start with the beginning here. And we're just going to take this and the second one and it'll go over. Take your third one and go in between that hole. And just keep going. And then just keep going till you get to the bottom. Pause it. Okay, so this is what we have once we're done weaving. Um, and we're down here at the bottom. I'm going to show you how to finish it. So you'll cut it in half. Take one out of the loop. And you'll tie a knot. And then we got your two strings there. Bring the loop and put it in the middle of the two strings and you'll tie two knots and that should secure what you've just done um, so that's that for for this front part we'll do the same thing to the sleeves we'll start from the top the first one and keep grabbing the next string and weave it through. It might look bunched up now, but once you're done, you can stretch it out and fix it like that. And just keep going till you get to the end. Make sure you don't miss any, any strings. And so here we are at the end again. This one might be a little harder to tie because it's smaller. And take that loop. And then tie another knot, two knots if you can. If you can't, then just tie the first one as tight as you can. So that came undone. But that's pretty much what it will look like. 
You can also take um, a needle and a thread and secure it down here, but of course you would want to have these parts inside of the shirt so you would flip it around and then you would have a finished end like that. Pause. Um, we're going to do the exact same thing to this side as we did on this side. Um, so with the weaving, once again you take your first string and you put it under and then over. This is one of the easiest. Okay, so I finished both sides there. Um, I tied it off right there. And next one I'm going to do is I'm just gonna make these longer, um, these longer ones a bit longer, just maybe cut like a, um, about another inch to an inch and a half on um, these ones here, um, maybe to the side. I'm going to try it on and then I will show you what it looks like and see if there's any adjustments that I need to do. But this is basically what I did on that shirt um, that was requested. Um, so yeah, um, um, like I said, um, you can just pretty much do whatever you think looks good on the shirt that you have okay so here we are with the um i've got the shirt on um i put a black shirt on underneath because i am seven months pregnant so i didn't really want my belly showing um but here are the the sleeves here and then there's the longest one there there's the tie is the front of course this is going to be quite a low cut shirt so you could wear something underneath like I did um, I didn't end up making these bigger but if you wanted to then you could go ahead and do that um, and I tied it off at the bottom here and same thing to the other side there and the back is just normal um, I even thought what you could do with um, the neck piece that you cut off earlier from this part here, which is what I got here, thought it would make it pretty cute. Just cut it in half. So it's one long string. And just tie it to one of your holes here. And then comes around and then you can just tie another knot right right there trim that off and then just move that down a little bit and there you got your own little halter and of course if you want to wear this shirt without another shirt underneath and it would look a whole lot um, more sexier um, if that's what you're looking for um, but yeah I hope this video was um, good enough for you guys um, and I hope I explained it okay and I hope you were able to see um, how I weaved weaved it all and how I tied the knot. Anyway, I'll be back with more tutorials soon.